A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'll teach you how to make a Spry accordion in Dreamweaver CS5. Guys what I've done is I've already made a Spry accordion to you. Uh, the preview that you see right now is in uh, Google Chrome. When I click on anything that shows a plus sign the panel opens up. Okay. And any panel that is open will show this minus sign out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy the files that are lying in the local side folder and I'm going to rebuild on it from the very scratch. Okay. Well, let me get back to Dreamweaver. In fact, let me go back to my local side folder and let me destroy all the CSS and SPRISS files. Okay. I don't need any of So the bare minimum assets that I need for this project and there's some extra assets as well which are not relevant to the, the project. Okay. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to rebuild a spry accordion panel from scratch. Let me start. Uh, what I do is I create uh, a new fresh HTML file. Then what I need to do is I need to say insert. Then I need to go down to spry. And then I need to say uh, spry accordion. I need to save the file. I'll call it accordion. Okay. And uh, then what I need to do is guys uh <coughs> Let me take a preview in Chrome first. Okay. Dreamweaver has saved uh, dependent files. This is the way. This is the way. This is the bare bone, uh, you know, spry accordion that uh, Dreamweaver gives us. In the focus state, it has shades of blue in the tab area. In the unfocused, the blur state, it has shades of gray. Okay. So this is what Dreamweaver gives us. Let me go back to Dreamweaver. Guys, when you actually select the Spry accordion by clicking on this blue color tab right at the left top corner, you can see that in the properties inspector, now you can add certain panels. You can add a few panels. I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus button. And uh, by doing uh, that, I've add actually added uh, yet another panel which is called label 3 but it's uh, inserted itself between uh, label 1 and label 2 so I'm going to take it down by clicking on this uh, move panel down in list button okay now it's uh, label 1 2 and 3 in the right hierarchy let me take a preview in Chrome once again okay so again guys I have shades of blue and shades of gray in the focused and this is the uh, blurred state when it's not on focus and as soon as it comes on focus when I highlight or click on it it, it has the uh, nice bluish shade okay so also we notice guys that we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nine so I drive here from six even up nine cent left right so we have 11 rules that control the spry accordion panel guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the rule which says the focus state okay so this uh, rule which is uh, fourth from the bottom is uh, controlling the background color in the focus state the focus state happens guys when it is selected and we have the third last rule as well I don't need the focus state at all I don't want to have multiple colors I don't want to uh, you know it actually looks messy it doesn't look professional at least that's that's the way I feel I don't need the focus I'm gonna get rid of both these rules uh, one by one so the third uh, last rule is uh, scrapped has been dumped and uh, even uh, the other one has so both the focus rules uh, have been dumped let me take a preview in uh, Chrome now all right so the bluish uh, selected or the uh, focus state is gone. Now I just have the grayscale left, which is uh, exactly what I need. Next thing uh, what I need to do is I need to crunch it. I need to, uh, it's, it's really going from left edge to the right edge. Okay, it's taking the full screen. I just need it to be in width 400 pixels, not anymore. So by clicking on the very first rule and adjusting the width to 400, uh, I'm happy. Let me take a preview in Chrome. Hmm good all right what else do I need to do now um, okay guys if you notice when I click on the accordion panel tab uh, the background color is a, is a hash C C C C C C which is a gray scale what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this color to a darkish gray color okay and the color the background color that I need for my tab is this one. Okay, let me show you a preview. Hmm. All right. So the tabs, 
which are not open have been colored a hash 333 wonderful next what I need to do is I need to go down to the rule which is the first second third fourth fifth rule from the top which is accordion panel open dot accordion panel tab now this controls the accordion panel tab in the state open when the accordion panel is open okay and there again you have a gray scale a very very light uh, gray color which is a hash triple e triple e I need to change that to uh, a hash 333 as well wonderful let me have a preview in uh, Chrome all right all very good but guys uh, the moment I've changed the, the color the background color of the tab to a, a very dark gray I can notice I can hardly notice the labels label 1 label 2 and label 3 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my tab rule accordion panel tab the third rule from the top and double click on that and I want to give a color to the font which is white okay let me take a preview in Chrome now hmm that's looking better but guys notice when I hover over these labels label 3 label 2 or label 1 they turn darkish and they are lost in the background so which means that I need to uh, manipulate one more rule which is called the accordion panel tab hover now what this rule does is it changes the color of the font to a hash 555555 which is again our darkish grayish color so I'm gonna change that color to a white okay now the font should be very easily visible which indeed it is oh, but I can see the hover uh, hover is the still a problem I need to yeah I need to manipulate one more rule which was the accordion panel open and accordion panel tab hover and I need to change that to white as well this is the th the third last rule from the bottom now guys okay yet another preview in Chrome hmm everything seems to be fine now wonderful let me close the preview up and then what I need to do is I'll need to go to the accordion panel content rule which is the fourth rule this guys controls the content the bigger area okay the whitish patch this area this area the content three area right now okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change as the background color a very light Mm, a very light gray let me go for let's say a hash CCC all right at the same time I would want to give it a padding of five pixels all around the content area that is wonderful I'll go back to the tab area because I notice it hardly has the label one two and three hardly have any padding so I'm gonna go there double click and uh, go to the box area the padding as I thought was pretty less was just two pixels I'm gonna turn it to five I'm gonna say okay and let me take a preview in Chrome okay so the accordion is taking shape uh, very very well now guys what I need to do is I need to place the plus and the minus buttons okay that will indicate if you click the plus sign the accordion panel will open if you click the minus sign nothing is supposed to happen that is because it is in the closed state so what I need to do is uh, let me uh, confine myself to the accordion panel tab rule which is the third rule from the top now okay I'm gonna double click on that and uh, then what I need to do is I need to mm, go to the background section of the category and choose a background image and the image should be uh, image should be a plus okay so plus dot PNG is the image that I need I'll say okay and then I'll say background repeat no repeat and the X and the Y position I'll keep it at 95 percent from the left hand side edge of the tab okay and the Y position should be placed centrally from top to bottom so that'll be 50 percent I'm gonna say okay let me show you a preview now guys in Chrome Google Chrome Mm. all right so let me go back to the rule which is uh, the fifth from the top now accordion panel open dot accordion panel tab and double click on that go to the background section one again uh, once again then the background image choose the minus image this time okay 
and say OK. Background repeat, no repeat. And uh, again, I'll follow the same rule 95% from the left hand side edge as far as the x axis is concerned. That is placing my background image where I want it. Very close, close to the right edge. And uh, the background image should be center. So that's 50%. All right, 50% top bottom. That's 50% top bottom. I'm gonna say okay, and guys, I should be good to go now. So, all right, okay. So, anything that is a plus indicates that this panel can be open, anything that is a minus uh, indicates the panel is already open. If I click on that, nothing is uh, gonna happen. Wow, this is looking cool, isn't it, guys? lovely so the accordion panel is done let's see if, if I have any other option mm. no I guess I'm uh, pretty much done guys so that's it uh, that's it that's how you make a spry accordion panel in Dreamweaver CS5 I hope you uh, learned something useful today I'll see you next time with yet another Dreamweaver tutorial I'll see you soon bye bye